she was great. <laughs> you don't want to know. Hey, Brecky, remind me to tell you what we did in Lake George. <laughs> Get this. I got it all on video. <laughs> That's it. This is it. I'm done. Through. It's over. I'm gone. Finished. Over. I will never work for you again. Look at you. <laughs> you think you're an important man? Is that what you think? You are a laughing stock. You are a joke. These people are laughing at you. You're nothing. You have no brains, no ability, nothing. I quit. <laughs> I like sports, I could do something in sports. Uh-huh, uh-huh. In what capacity? You know, like the general manager of a baseball team. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that can be tough to get. Well, it doesn't even have to be the general manager. Maybe I could be like an announcer, like a color man. You know how I always make those interesting comments during the game? Yeah, yeah, you make good comments. So what about that? Well, you know, they tend to give those jobs to ex-ball players and people that are, you know, in broadcasting. <laughs> well, that's really not fair. Well, okay, okay. What else do you like? Movies, I like to watch movies. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Do they pay people to watch movies? Projectionists. <laughs> That's true. But you gotta know how to work the projector. What about a talk show host? <laughs> talk show host, that's good. <laughs> I think I'd be good at that. I talk to people all the time. Someone even told me once they thought I'd be a good talk show host. Really? Yeah, a couple of people. <laughs> Get that though. Where do you start? Well, that's where it gets tricky. You can't just walk into a building and say, I want to be a talk show host. I wouldn't think so. What should I do? Maybe you can just go back. Go back? Yeah. Pretend like it never happened. You mean just walk into the staff meeting on Monday morning like it never happened? Sure. You're an emotional person. People don't take you seriously. <laughs> just go back. Pretend the whole thing never happened. Never happened? I was blowing off a little steam. So what? So what? You're entitled. I'm emotional. That's right, you're emotional. <laughs> never happened. Never happened. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> what are you doing here? What? I work here. I thought you quit. <laughs> What quit? <laughs> Who quit? <laughs> Bill, how was your weekend? Oh, excellent weekend. What about your weekend? Fine weekend. Yeah, good weekend. <laughs> Went up to the Cape, took the kids sailing. <laughs> Lisa was a little scared at first. That kid's gonna be a good sailor someday. Oh, she's gonna be a fine sailor. <laughs> Ava, what happened to you Friday afternoon? Oh, I got tied up. I'll bet you did. <laughs> I want to remind everyone that the 10th anniversary party for Rick Bar Properties is going to be Wednesday afternoon at 4 o'clock in Lasky's Bar on Madison 48th. I want all of you to be there. This really means a lot to me. Is that Costanza over there? <laughs> what are you doing here? What? Am I crazy? Or didn't you quit? When? Friday. Oh, what, what, that? Are you kidding? I didn't quit? Why, you took that seriously. <laughs> you mean laughing stock, all that stuff? Come on, will you stop it? <laughs> no brains, no ability. Teasing, what? Okay, I want you out of here. I don't know where you're getting this from. I... You're serious, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> You see, you just, you don't know my sense of humor. I mean, Dan, don't I joke around all the time? I wouldn't say all the time. You can't win. You can't beat me. That's why I'm here and you're there. Because I'm a winner. I'll always be a winner. And you'll always be a loser.